Yo, what's going on my Blackstar family? Hope everyone's blessed, having a blessed day, blessed week, all of the good stuff. Yo, look what's landed. This is the Apollo Moto RFN Thunder 300. Seriously sick bike. Brand new from the box. Look behind, we've also got more pit bikes. So yeah, these are all pit bikes in these boxes. But take this one in for a second. Lee UK Bike Life built this earlier. Seriously good looking little bike, isn't it? I wonder what this feels like. Comes with a light, indicators, um, hot start, hot start lever. Yeah, not bad. This bike is an air-cooled engine, so there's no radiator. Let me bring this bike out a bit for you. So I've pulled it out a bit, so now I can have a walk around. Guys, put in the comment what you think of this bike. Still got the stickers on it and that. Let's give it a rev chest. Woo! So yeah, this bike comes with electric start, comes with kick start. Um, like I said, it's a road legal bike, not gonna lie. Let me show you something. So, we've gone over everything here, and we can't get the front main light on. All the wires are connected, there's, there's no breakings in the wires, nothing. Everything's how it should be. The speedos and the clocks work. Let me turn it off, let me turn it on so you can get a view of that. Yeah, they've put in a good bit of quality into these bikes. See, so right, I'm hearing these bikes are two grand, brand new. Yeah, if that's the case, this bike's definitely worth its money. If it's not two grand, brand new, then uh, what other? I've seen this bike up for three and a half grand. I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit too much. If you're gonna compare this bike to a proper dirt bike which is 4,000, 5,000 I think I'd pay the extra money but then again I need to test this bike don't I back lights to one indicators work do you know what I mean everything works it's got hazards no no hazards like everything works, but there's no main beam. So yeah, we're not happy with that, but we're gonna get an electrician around that. Hopefully we'll sort that out. Um, all these Apollos, yeah, um, all these Apollo RFN style backs, they all come similar sort of colors. Whites, reds, blues. I like it. I like it still, they need to switch it up a little bit though. Clutch feels, yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Throttle feels nice and smooth. That's what we like. Oh, back brake feels solid. Back brake is very solid. We'll have to uh, see what this back brake feels like. For those who didn't know, Apollo, they make pit bikes. They started off making pit bikes. They just went in to making um, electric bikes. So they make the RFN. They make kids bikes, which my little boy's got one right here. If you ain't seen the review of that, very good little bikes. 
bit too small though. These bikes should have definitely been bigger because this is aged up to eight years old. My little boy is six, he's too big for it. I'm gonna put some different handlebars on it. But yeah, what do you reckon of this bike, guys? Next, I'm gonna take this bike out and absolutely hammer the granny out of it and see how it goes. Let's go, let's get it. All right then, let's give it a little ride. See what she feels like. hasn't come to life yet, it's proper weird. Let's try and give it a lift up. Apollo, I'm not going to lie, you need to do something with these back brakes. That is the worst back brake I have ever experienced. I've been on this bike now for easily 20 minutes, 40 minutes. Uh, Lee UK Bike Life was out on this bike all day yesterday and guess what? The back brake is absolutely poo. I don't know if the disc, if it's the disc, look at the disc wavy disc uh, i don't know if it's the pads honestly i don't know what it is but yeah you need to upgrade these brakes asap all right guys i'm not gonna lie this see this bike here it's very weird it's like i like it and i don't like it do you know what i mean it feels good bottom end lifts up uh, when you go up higher through the gearbox that all the power goes the back brake is no good, I'm not going to lie, but let's hammer it. Well, I don't know if the speedo works, but reckons I was going 88 miles an hour, mental.
so guys that was me second third gear it's like the power dies out and then you can't get it back you gotta drop the bike uh you can't drop the bike back because the back brake is terrible like proper scary So yeah, guys, this is what you might want to know. Is it good or is it not? Personally, I'm not going to run it down. I'm just going to say Apollo. I think they need to stick to electric bikes only. Um, a few of these Apollo motors, I've run, I've rode them. They ain't been that good. I mean, this is like a dirt bike. So I'm only going to compare this to another dirt bike. For £2,000, the price ain't too bad if they sell them for that. If they sell them for any more than that, I would not recommend it i don't know how strong the engines are um it's horrible to find neutral like even right now i still haven't found neutral on this bike look it's just horrible man like just skips neutral all the time look gone back down it's in neutral now and the neutral light ain't even come on so yeah personally like i said apollo you need to stick to electric bikes only really because uh yeah these um motorbikes they're not the ones guys I'm gonna end this video here uh, this is the 300 Apollo put in the comments what you think of this bike let's go let's get it I can't lie this one